Hi guys, today we want to share with you all the things that your puppy will need when they first move in with you. I actually moved in with my parents seven weeks ago and they bought a lot of stuff just to make sure that we have everything that we need. And so we want to present you today the things that are most essential and we linked all of the products that we use in the info box just so that you can relate to the things that we present you in this video. So let's start with the most important products. And one of the game changers for us was definitely our crate because it's so, so versatile and it's such a great help for young puppy parents because you can use it in the most different situations. And the best situation to use it actually is for the night to sleep in it because that helped so much with our potty training because I just sleep in there and I've talked more about that also in this video so I'm going to link it up there. But we're also going to use it through the day because I can't really sleep in my dog bed on my own yet because I just can't rest in there. And then my parents just put me in my crate and also when I'm like going crazy because I'm too tired or I have like my five minutes. Then my parents also use the crate to calm me down because it's just like a place for me to sleep and I associate it with like being calm and with just like resting. So it's just so easy for me to calm down within like seconds or minutes. And it's also of course easy to use in the car because you would be safe in there. So it's just like so important for a different situation and you just like need your puppy to get used to it with food in the beginning. Of course, the next important thing is to have a dog bed for when I'm too big for my crate, also already to get used to it. And we bought an orthopedic bed, so it's better for like my bones and like for my muscles. And I already think that it's very cozy and I can't wait to actually be sleeping in it. And for me, as a food-obsessed and very, very hungry puppy, of course, my food and water bowls are very important. We kind of bought a little bit small ones and they have a removable metal bowl in there so we can clean them very easily and just put them in the dishwasher. And we didn't find them on Amazon, but we linked something similar for you guys. And then, of course, the next thing when we're already talking about the bowls is the food. And we're using puppy food and we're just yeah, like using the one that we also got from our breeder. And we're using dry food because it's just like so easy to feed. And since we're also trading with my normal meals, it's just easy to do that with dry food. And it works very well. And I just love it very, very much. And I get dry food four times a day. And then also, of course, some snackies or some veggies and like fruits that I get from my parents when they cook. And for snackies, we always have this like salmon cream or like just like some sausage cream from a tube because it's easy to handle. Next up, very important, of course, is toys. And toys are very important to have like different kinds of toys depending on your dog and your situation. And because I love to play with different stuff, so I have my balls and then I have like also a rope for like pool games. Then I have a toy that squeaks, which is super funny and also like soft toys more for cuddling. So I would prefer to have like one toy of each different kind so your puppy can choose what she wants to play with. And next up, which I don't really like to recommend, but my parents are thinking that it's very important is to have like a brush and a comb because it's very important to be brushed almost daily as a puppy because my fur is like super, super soft and it gets tangled super easily and my parents always start with a soft brush and afterwards like go through my fur with a comb and just like part of our daily routine for me to also get used to it as a puppy. And then of course it's also very important to have like bones and something to chew on so I can release my stress through chewing and it's also important for my teeth to be able to chew on something. Next up is a collar, a leash and a harness. And right now we actually use our own products because my parents have a startup called Fur Friends and we produce our own colors, leashes and harnesses with like cute and unique designs on them. And my parents are happy that I've grown so quickly because now we can use them. And in the beginning, of course, we used other products and other brands because I was just like too small for our own brand. And next up is also something that we've just like purchased recently, but it's easy to have it from the beginning already. And that's a towel line. 
because it's so easy to use and we've actually used it the first time on our vacation at the Baltic Sea so I could just like test how far I can go but I also could learn to orientate with my parents and like not run too far away from them. And depending on the season we also would recommend for you guys to get like your dog a little sweater because as a puppy I can't keep my body heat that easily so it's good to have a sweater depending on how cold it is outside. And as you can see I'm already a little bit too big for mine now so my parents have to buy me a new one soon. And then last but not least of course for your puppy but also for bigger dogs of course are like poo bags. It's just a must have for every dog and not just for your puppy but for your whole life. That's basically our complete checklist with items that you will definitely need for your puppy when they move in with you guys and it's kind of like a must have. So we linked all the products that we used in the description just like as a help for you guys and we really hope this video was helpful again and that you could see and take some inspiration. And if you did like the video, please leave a thumbs up and also a comment and then subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any content in the future.